और कैसे हो भाई लोग यहाँ पे गांड फट गई लेडीज एंड जन में कमी है यू विद एन इमरजेंसी वीडियो बिकॉज एवरीबडी इज लुकिंग लाइक दिस राइट नाउ वी गॉट अ मैसिव डिजास्टर लाइक दिस वीडियो शेयर दिस वीडियो एंड देर इज अडियो दैट वन शेयर विद यू एज वॉल इन जस्ट अ सेकेंड बिकॉज Phil Spencer is firing everybody right now. Oh, He's firing all the Call of Duty devs. A guy comes out says that thank God 100% deserve. Their games are trash. Maybe next time work harder. I mean, bruh, like and then the homie Tom respond by saying <laughs> saying this and everybody's going off. You have the Sony Pony MBG engaging. We have this is why PlayStation is better than Midbox. They want so you own nothing. You will own nothing and be happy. Anyone still prefer to buy physical games and everybody's just attacking everybody right now. People drop in stun grenades, people drop in uh, tombstone pile drivers so much so that guy comes out and says that bro saw the quality and by bro he means like uh, Phil Spencer. Phil Spencer saw the quality of the devs and said fine i will do it myself it's just crazy some people looking like this other people dropping stun grenades some people busting their heads against the wall and guys like this video and check this out roll it literally broke just about 10 minutes ago everybody oh, is still completely flipping out even i personally am trying to mentally digest the data but microsoft is laying off 1900 oh activision blizzard and mind you they have 22000 devs Phil fired 8% of the devs like ta ta like Xbox that. employees. These cuts affect about 8% of the Microsoft gaming division. And to be honest, this is nuts. Um, the entirety of 2024 is off to a very rough start for the gaming industry. We've seen just so many studios trying to fire people that they think are redundant or unneeded. Yeah. Which and, some... and I'm seeing like people coming from all different angles, right? I know like suckers love different angles, but people are coming from both sides. Some people are saying that they're only firing the bad apples. The types of devs they're firing are the ones that sit on their ass, smell their farts, eating bagels. I, I mean, damn, guys, like, uh, I'm seeing this. I'm actually seeing this. But the funniest thing of them all is this, guys. You're not going to believe this. This is, I, I, it, it's like, bro, my, my EXE broke. I started looking like this when I first heard this because this is what Phil said. That Phil said that they're doing this for cost-cutting measures. In other words, they're trying to save money. Bruh. And, and I'm sitting here like, dog, y'all suckers, okay, spend <laughs> Seventy billion dollars to acquire Activision. Seventy billion. You're telling me that you couldn't put one billion dollars aside? Okay, one billion. That's like a, that's rich, right? But guys, take a look at this though. They today, right? They became a three trillion, Bruh. three trillion oh, dollars company. T for Tommy, okay? And you're telling me that they couldn't put like one billion dollars aside to keep the devs? That's insane, bro. But some people are also saying this is business, bro. This is like how the mafia works, and I get it, right? Like this is business, and this is why I I will always tell you guys like if you're working a job, you need side hustles. You need Time skills bizarre. Time. Not to get too into the weeds before we look at all the statements, but it's weird that Wait for it. the average game developer is being paid 50000 70000 a year, whereas a lot of the executives are earning tens of millions of dollars a year. You could yeah. fire one executive and keep Damn. hundreds, if not thousands of employees, but hey, what do I know? <laughs> okay, so here's the... I mean, these are facts, though, but the le exec would be like, I don't want to be fired. I need 10 million. I need 20 million. I need 30 million right now. Like, that's the honest truth, though. If they were to fire, like, like two, three execs, and save like 30 to 40 million dollars, they could have kept like 1900 people. Guys, three people versus 1900 people, right? Like think about it for a second. And most of these devs were probably in California uh, and they fired, like this is absolutely insane. They fired 30% of Sledgehammer Games devs to which the guy said that, well, thank God 100% is it. <laughs> Their games are trash and yeah, the games are trash. I do not deny that, but 30% of the devs, that's insane though. Cause it's, it's bizarre. Here's Phil Spencer the head of Xbox's official statement as to why this is happening. It's okay. been a little over three months since Activision Blizzard and King Teams joined Microsoft. As we move forward into 2024, the leadership of Microsoft Gaming and Activision Blizzard is committed to aligning on strategy. All right, let's mm, let's just get past a lot of the gobbledygook and see here is the actually important part. Okay. As part of this process, we've made the painful decision to reduce the size of our gaming workforce by approximately 1,900 roles of the 22,000 people on our team. Man. 22,000 Microsoft game developers is truly a, I mean, astronomical figure. I mean, Microsoft definitely has more studios than anybody, but here yeah. we go. The gaming yeah. leadership team and I are committed to navigating this process as thoughtfully as possible. The people who are directly impacted by these reductions have all played an important part in the success of Activision Blizzard. Then why are you firing them? Yeah. <laughs> 
If okay, Phil Spencer, uh, obviously, like, this is, like, wordplay. Like, Phil Spencer definitely don't want to look bad. He officially says, like, yeah, bro, like, we are grateful for all of their creativity, but uh, we need to save the money. We need to. And it doesn't look good because, you know, for the fact that they spent $70 billion dollars buying Activision Blizzard and they're saying that we need to save money we need to cut cut costs that's they're strange. important why are you firing them okay they should be proud of everything they've accomplished yeah I man I'm sure being proud is really what they care about right now not, not paying their bills being proud is what's important we're Dang. grateful for all the creativity passion and dedication they've brought to our games our players and our colleagues we will provide our full support to those who are impacted including a severage benefits okay so at least there's that people that are being fired are at least getting a decent paycheck to help them coast to their next place of employment uh -huh. now W2, this to I me, guess? I must admit, is a shocking bit because from the outside, Activision Blizzard is in a better spot than they've been in a very yeah, long true. time. True. They just launched Diablo 4 Season 3, Season of the Construct. I've been addicted to it. You can see I, I'm already level 41 and it came out two days ago. Clearly, it's a very good patch. It's bizarre to me that these companies don't think about you know long-term benefits they just go okay i can fire somebody right now and then hire somebody later if i need to and that'll make it so i'm more profitable in the short term stuff like this drives me nuts not only because yeah. is it we always doing that a long time ago when i was saying that guys phil spencer is gonna make call of duty great again okay and when I, every time i say that every time i say that there's like two camps right there are two camps of people guys emergency meeting real quick okay there's always two camps wait for this one there's another thing that i want to show you but there's always two camps of people there's group number one that says that bro we talking about phil spencer here skizzle do not believe in phil spencer don't believe in xbox because they ruin all their games they put out and other people are like bro like yeah phil is gonna do call of duty justice because call of duty is already so trash it cannot be more trash than this let's be real they didn't pay 70 billion dollars to ruin Call of Duty. I don't believe in that. Every time I say that, people coming out and people are always like warning me, Skizzle, bro, like you, you, bro, warning, warning, Skizzle. You need to know this, that we talking about Phil Spencer, we talking about Xbox, they ruin Halo, they ruin Redfall, they ruin Starfield, they ruin this game, they ruin that game. And I'm like, yeah, but, but like, they wouldn't pay 70 billion dollars to ruin Call of Duty, right? Like, done it. But if you ever talk to the employees that are making games like this, it really screws things up having to train somebody new or having your workload doubled okay anyways here's the other part of it that's extra bizarre blizzard's previously announced survival game called odyssey has been canceled what? they just revealed odyssey they've been talking about this and it's just oh, gone shit. Oh, shit. legitimately what this this makes zero sense I guess internally that it just wasn't shaping up and it got canned. I mean, that stuff kind of happens, but what the heck? But here's the wildest part of all. Bruh. The president of Blizzard <laughs> is also leaving. Mikey Barra. This guy took oh over the job God. two months ago. Like, wh what are we even doing here? Oh, I want to thank everyone who's been impacted today for their meaningful contributions to the teams and to players' lives. It's an incredibly hard day and my energy and support will be focused on all these amazing individuals impacted. If there's anything you need or recommendations, please DM me to the Blizzard community. I also want to let you know today isn't my last day or sorry, oh my gosh, this is so bizarre. To the Blizzard community, I also want to let you know that today is my last day at Blizzard. Leading Blizzard through an incredible time and being part of the team, shaping it for the future ahead was an absolute honor. Having already spent 20 years at Microsoft with the acquisition of Activision Blizzard behind us, it's time for me to once again become Blizzard's biggest fan from the outside. To the incredible teams at blizzard thank you words cannot express how i feel about all of you yo phil be like going ta -ta, ta -ta, ta -ta, ta -ta, right now homeboy just put like a thanos snap right now and he's firing everybody one if you think he's doing the right thing two if you think nah bro like phil be phil is gonna ruin call of duty he's gonna he's gonna ruin call of duty they fought so hard with the ftc to acquire activision <laughs> And once they acquired it, they're like, yeah, 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 yeah. let's go crazy right now. Right now, I'm like 50-50, like whether it's going to turn out to be good or not under like Phil Spencer regime. Because under Phil Spencer regime, bro, I mean, Phil has done like a lot of really good things for Xbox as well. I, I talked about it multiple times. And I'll say again, yeah, nobody's perfect. Obviously, you guys, Jim Ryan lies. Phil Spencer lies. You don't need to suck their schlong. Bro, like the day you're going to pass away, they're not going to come on your grave and, and shed a tear. They're going to sit in, in their mansions and they're going to be like, oh, man, we just lost six. Man, we just lost $70 uh, from that, that PlayStation Xbox subscription, man. <laughs> that guy passed away. That guy, if the, he lived longer, if he ate healthy, 
he could have given away seventy, eighty dollars per year, or however much you gotta spend nowadays. Uh, obviously, I'm in Canada, so like it's different prices. It's like a hundred dollars. I mean, die. you are amazing. Continue to do incredible things, and always keep Blizzard Blue the player at the forefront of every decision. Like this is something that <laughs> does personally just drive me nuts about the gaming industry like this happens in other fields as well if you see a lot of the replies to this a lot of people are talking about well yeah, there are unnecessary jobs there are redundancies that does totally make sense if you are merging two companies together obviously if you have one huge department that's already working as like accountants you don't need double the amount of accountants that stuff makes sense but yeah. 1900 employees a lot of these yeah, are game devs people. people that are now no longer working on future updates or cool new bosses or great new storylines or in this case they're not even working on this this game that did look pretty dang That's decent That's we're wild. literally Holy. getting less games in the long run in order to make this acquisition more profitable i, I mean maybe phil spencer is saving that money to buy another studio you know? oh. like, maybe maybe that's what it is maybe that's what it is <laughs> And that sucks. This guy is pretty much exclusively a Blizzard streamer. He plays lots of stuff like uh, Diablo, World of Warcraft. He is really into like leveling characters okay. and stuff like that. Okay. And he said this, I said it once and I'll say it again, F Microsoft. The acquisition <laughs> was never a good thing, gamers. But hey, who Toxic gamers. cares what the artists say? It only matters who's buying it. Mm. It's just an unfortunate circumstance man this is crazy like uh, it, it, I, i'm i'm actually curious to see your guys replies i think it's gonna be pretty pretty spicy down there and recently we actually had some good news well, guys click on this video on the screen because they finally are banning they finally are banning i know this is bad news video but this one is good news check this out and i'll see you right there